stones, the larger stones, probably 20, 25 feet from here or so. <clears throat> Let me do a, a quick perception check. No, you all, both of you get up to, to the stone. You won the you won the Any contest. Writing? Uh now, uh why don't you guys if you guys are looking distinctively for for writing writing and whatnot on the stone, why don't you guys uh do a thorough search and give me a uh you can give me a spot check or you can give me a linguistics check or you can give me a nature check. Knowledge nature. So spot Perception, linguistics, knowledge, nature, anything like that. All right, I'll give you a perception. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it's it's uh, sort of messing with your uh, your night vision somehow. You're just not really able to to see a whole lot. To, now, as for uh, the seeker, I've been meaning to go get my eyes in the mouth. Yeah, I exactly. You know, and. Seeker, you kind of point out to something to fail because fail is kind of looking around, and you're able to definitely confirm that there's no writing on the three, you know, stones that you're looking at in front of you. But you know there are marks from you know over time, probably damage, weathering over time. But uh, you can definitely confirm that there are no no writing, uh, no symbols, nothing like that on on these stones. These appear to be natural stones, Lady Fail. Yeah, but they they look like they've been put in like a so it's sort of like. Um, there's sure, they they've been set there, well. but yeah, exactly, they haven't yeah. been worked or anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they haven't. Isn't they pretty weathered? <laughs> yeah, er, yeah, they, they're definitely weathered. It's not like Urtons come over here and banged on them with a with an anvil and a pick or anything like that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. What about the desecrated stones? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, they're actually broken into pieces. And there's a couple small ones uh, over there, and, and same as those. No no writings, no symbols, nothing like that. But they're, they're definitely broken, and those you can actually tell were forcibly broken. Any any tool markings on them, or were they toppled over and broken that way? Probably with a tool, because you can see other small bits of, you know, rock on the ground also, to where something actually was probably pounded into it to break it. Yeah, you know, I, I won't even make you do a roll for that. These were definitely defaced, that's for sure. But the stones, they they seem. They seem really old. You know, you, you know that this town was here, you know, the the small hamlet of Christen's been here for about 200 years. These stones may be even older than that. I mean, you you could you might no, be able no, to tell better closer, during can, the day. Can the seeker hear what they're saying? <clears throat> Same thing, really light mumbles. You really can't hear what they're saying. Now the the inn is called the Singing Stone, so I'm I'm also listening for any kind of noises I can hear from the wind or anything like that. Uh, no, but you can hear some singing coming from the inn over there. Uh, no. uh, okay. <laughs> the Singing Stones Inn. <laughs> no, you you don't. I don't know. Maybe these are the no, Singing Stones. No. I, I, I totally uh, I like that. I saw where you were going with that. Yeah, I totally agree. <laughs> exactly. It was great. Okay, I, I motioned to uh to fail to, you know, head back. I I agree. Let's go back and tell the group. You want another stealth? No, you guys slink away. You guys are able to slink I up there, you'd be able to slink character. back. So. I like I like how the seekers this this kind of naive little dwarven look. <laughs> it's it's pretty good, really. <laughs> oh, thanks. 
how yeah <laughs> we'll, we'll wait here and then all of a sudden bam he's out of there you know what I mean he goes right after a yeah. fail I like it that was good I was like, good, so there's two chances of uh, failure now instead of just one. I love it. And I and I failed for you there, too. I... Yeah. She, well, you got up to where she was at, and she stopped you, so that's why you uh, didn't, you know, crunch your way up to the top of the hill like you were wanting to go and check out the stones and stuff. So she kind of saved you from that, which is a good, good on her part. That's true. All right, so they're 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 back now. I, I've been uh, after smelling and and this this armor uh, got my feel of it. I I took out my kerchief and I, I've been kind of soaking up sweat with it, so I, I'll have it for later. And, I, and as as Fail approaches, I'm making a show of of polishing her armor for. Her. Ah, there you are. Any 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 good news? Soaking I, it up. I, I, I tell him what what we saw and. Um, I think if we approach them openly to speak with them, we can we can learn more. Yes, maybe that should wait till tomorrow. Uh, Grant, I've heard his stomach rumble several times. I, I thought yeah. I'm going to be discovered simply by, by that alone. Not Indeed. too many people were like any of this group coming upon them in the night either. Right. True. Especially those of us who are dwarf shaped. <laughs> those of us. <laughs> yes, you inclusive on that, Mister Seeker. Might be misconstrued, yes. Indeed. Let us what? go uh, Go seek sustenance at the end. What color were the stones? <laughs> gray? Uh, not black. Is no. everything gray at night? I was just wondering, it being the stones, I wondered if anybody painted it black. No, there's no paint. Hmm. No markings, no etchings, no no symbols, no runes. Nothing. Definitely beaten down with a, you know, over time for sure. What about the defacing seeker fail? Did you did you notice any of that going on over there? Tools Am were used to break them. You're here. Yeah, yeah. You, you're, you're here. You're, you're not deep only, but you're here. It's not good. Everything's robotic. <laughs> yeah, I had uh -oh. the same thing happen to me about an hour ago or something. Like Teamspeak just dropped. It does that sometimes. I don't know why. No, I lost everything. Fantasy Grounds rule twenty. I'm streaming oh. now. Oh, okay. I look at Fantasy Grounds and see that uh, I don't see fails. A uh, beautiful token. Uh, yeah. Uh, technical difficulties. Yes. We hear you though. So, 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 very, so sorry. So, fail is uh, actually frozen in in place at the bottom of the hill. In carbonite, yes. Usti flashy blue sky walk. But uh, yes. Uh, so you did see some of these defacements, seeker, in fail. Yes, uh, broken stones. Uh, uh, Tools were used to break them and, and topple them over, but you couldn't tell anything more than that. Mm, well, tools being used, uh, that makes it seem even more likely that dwarves were involved in it. Well, supposed... Humans could have done it as well. No, not necessarily dwarves, but, but an intelligent creature rather than uh, right. some brutish monster that simply knocked them over. Well, maybe after well we that kind of take... rules out dwarves, then. <laughs> some. Mm. Let's take our good. rest then and get a good bath They're and a meal really in our good. bellies. And, uh, we'll, Indeed. We'll, we'll, we'll talk to these uh, these humans in the morning and, and, and see if we can figure out anything. Maybe old I uh, knows a little something about their ways as well. He, he, he can maybe ingratiate us in, in, towards them. Oh, yeah, very good. I like that. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I might not be as versed as you. Well, I don't know. You seem to know a lot about the woods and the tree. I don't. I've never seen you hug a tree, but you wield a a, a tree-like thing in your hands in battle. Uh, surely you could find some common ground with these people. And being human doesn't hurt. Exactly. We've Indeed, got like these a, like people a, are a rainbow coalition of races here. By the way, I, I like we it. are it's, the UN. It seems these people are are uh, are prejudiced and ignorant and unenlightened and a fellow human might be able to to uh, 
reach them better than, than us. Those, those are harsh words, having never even spoken with any of them, Seeker. We, we, we only know the man that was being harassed by his wife. Let, let's not jump to conclusions uh, over, over fast. Mm. I, I will withhold my judgment then. Uh, good, <laughs> good Master Pride. <laughs> I don't mean to chastise you, Seeker, but uh, keep your mind open. <laughs> Very well. We make our way to the end. I think we've arrived. Right. So yeah, I, th I yeah, think you guys we, did. Yeah, to. yeah. So as you guys walk into the National end, there's Order. quite a few, quite a few people. You can hear a little bit of a uh, little bit of music going on in the background. Lots of chatter going. What? Oh, so they have bards performing here. <laughs> they do. They have. Uh, they have uh, several minstrels playing. Small little, uh, like little trio, yeah, absolutely. No bells or anything, Grat. But they're, uh, they're uh, playing we can music. Add, add bells. <laughs> All right, so you walk in. You Grat. Uh, oh, go ahead. go ahead. I'm sorry. What was that? I was gonna say, Grat, it's pretty hard name. to establish establish your reputation with so many bards around. <laughs> nah, that's all right. I'll just work with them. Okay. I'll approach the bar. Gently as I can, trying to skirt my way around the tables, but being rather tall and big and muscular. Half run, um, or run. I'll approach the bar and absolutely. Yeah, as you I as you go in, friends, food sounds for our good. Uh, and and you, you get the uh, the attention of a gentleman, and uh, as you guys walk in, this is sort of like a like a very large house, and this is definitely a multiple story. Uh, house like it you know like I was saying the lower floor it seems like there's you know everything that you would see uh, like a bar a kitchen you can see several maidens coming in and out seems like there's some uh, some storage uh, also outside you saw several out houses and and inside you can also see that there is a, off to the side sort of like a, a, a general equipment store that's Sort of like a, a little miniature Walmart super center that you see here. And it is the singing oh stones in, yeah. And the bar itself. Is there a greeter, Dave? No, there is no greeter. Uh, no greeter. <laughs> no elderly gentleman with no. a, blue, a blue vest. They're, on. they're checking your bags and giving you little labels as you walk in. Uh, but <laughs> yeah. The bar itself is uh, fitting just like the rest of the hamlet. You know, there's three tables and uh, about 15 chairs. Not a not a huge place, but uh, it gives the whole room the rustic feel like the rest of Crisson. And, you know, the mm. tables are round, nice stone bases. You know, uh, and, you know, one thing that you guys notice on the walls, the stone walls, there are holes everywhere in the stone walls. I mean, it's actually kind of weird uh, to see all these holes, and there, you know, there's not weapons hanging out, no, no pictures. It's just they're all the same circumference, circumference hole, and they're just placed all over all four of the walls. It's a, uh, you know, and then you hmm. see stairs going like up, wooden people stairs taking going souvenirs? up. Uh, no, I don't think they're drilling the wall out. I don't know. You could uh, possibly try to inquire about it, but it's I'm just something, curious. something odd, uh, you know, that you see. Uh, you know, and there's a for mm -hmm. is it in a pattern N uh sort of kind of in in some areas yeah but it, it doesn't look like it it's it it doesn't seem like it it paints any kind of grand view of anything it's just kind of mm -hmm. like sporadic i was <laughs> gonna look back and forth for a town that doesn't get a lot of traffic pretty busy yeah. Well, this is an attraction, and uh, it seems they like have they have a stones that heat the water. Yeah. yeah, they have some very healthy. Uh, they have a very healthy, like, uh, variety of meads. You can even, as you go up to the bar there, Grat, you can even see that they have stones touch, and the one of the strongest sales around called the dancing goat, and you can see that they have oh, these. Wow. I mean, actually, a very very you know large selection and as one of the the you know one of the servers comes out and walks by you you are just overwhelmed with this you know this smell of like a a smoked meat maybe a little bit of curry and it just makes it makes your mouth water 
Barkeep. I shall approach the bar. Ah. Barkeep. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Food for my friends, an ale for each of us, and then a bath. Ah, travelers, uh, travelers to christen. It's, uh, usually we see nothing but, uh, but the villagers here. That's a, a special occasion indeed. And you can see he's walking up to you and has a, a stein that he's kind of, you know, wiping out and, you know, taking his rag and cleaning it off. He says, uh, what can I get for you? How long are you going to be staying? You need a, you need a place to stay? Uh, we I, do. We need a place to sleep. I, but first, ale, food, and a bath. Ah, uh, it sounds good. Ale, the food, and a bath. The ale, the food, and the bath, uh... Is going to cost you with a room, uh, and there's still, you know, some. This gentleman, you know, looks to be middle aged or so. Uh, it's going to be four gold. He says that'll be four gold per person. Uh, that'll take care of your your drink, your food, the great uh, the great sausage that we're having tonight, and that'll get you a nice hot bath also. All right, I see you, Grant uh, conversing with this guy, and as the subject of money comes up, I kind of interpose myself and pull out my coin purse. Grat, the evening is on me. Yeah, I look at everyone. Yeah, let, let's just let this be my small token of thanks for accompanying me on this great adventure, friends. I plunk down 20 gold uh, for, for the lot of us. Yeah. Wow. Uh, let, nice. Let's drink, eat, drink, and be merry this evening, friends. Yes. And, oh, and of thank course, you very much. Of course, I cannot uh, cannot partake, and and I ask for just porridge and and tea. And I, I say I don't. Uh, share. I can drink his share. Nice. My gold there, can't I, I, I figured, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gentleman, you know, a decent looking guy, dark hair, you know, cropped hair, got a, I uh, take it you, you a are, small you beard. Are Avron, we've heard of. Ah, uh, is this your staff? I am. I am a uh, Michael Avron. Mitchell, Mitchell yes, Avril, uh, sorry. T tales reach far and wide of the, the uh, Singing Stone Inn and your magical baths. Uh, we, we wish to partake on, uh, of these as soon as we get our bellies full. Aye, I, I yells back to the, yells back to the back. Need, need five sausage plates! We've got some visitors! <laughs> and then everybody kind of looks over at you now that... You know, they can hear uh, Mr. Avern yelling. They're all kind of quiets down a little bit. And they were, all eyes are on you guys, you know. Oh, wow, there's some new people here that we've never seen. Curiosities, yes. Oh, my God. And there's a half-orc in here. What's going on? But Mr. Avron, he, you know, he doesn't, <laughs> saw, uh, doesn't discriminate at all. He serves everyone up. He's, you know, basically, everybody's money's good here. He just I should pull out my bells and begin to uh, begin to do a very short impromptu <coughs> dingaling style of uh, display and say barkeep is there any way may have that I may offset some of our, our our bill by performing in your inn I nay I'm already paying one group of, of minstrels over there my friend and in fact all they got was a sausage meal out of it they don't even get paid <laughs> and a sausage such meal like, yeah! is a meal for a king. Uh, they've never heard bell playing like this down here, Grant. Uh, they don't know how we do it but, uh, up, up in the north. <laughs> Maybe after 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 we after we feast and make merry a bit, uh, you can indulge them with your bell ringing. That does sound like a most reasonable offer. As I, as I, after I say that, I put my kerchief to my nose and take a big waft of a fails uh, sweat. <laughs> not the, not right, the uh, hey, hey, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Avron. Uh, yes. What is th these curious holes drilled into the walls? Yeah, I'm sorry for sounding like uh, like some some uh, tourist, but uh, I've never seen such. Ah, things. it's not a problem. I, I don't mind answering it. It's it's something that my my father did about 40 years ago. Uh, during the summer, we get nice breezes that you know do travel through the hamlet, and and when when those days are amongst us, when the when the sun is high and the 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 temperatures are cool, we open up the windows and. When you open up the windows, the the air travels through the nice breeze, and it and that's why we are called ah. the Singing Stone Inn because our our stone walls 
are drilled with holes, and the air travels through and whistles, and it sings to our patrons and sings to the rest of the hamlet. Quite an ingenious idea. It is. Aye, it is. That was uh, from my father about 40 years ago. Ah, bless his soul. That's really clever. I like I, the sort of sound of that. I, I, I could have filled the uh, holes yeah. in, but uh, I, nothing's broke, so why fix it? You know what I mean? Oh, you, you plug them up when the winter comes, though, right? No, nay. No, we let it, uh, let it go <laughs> okay. throughout the entire year. I don't want to catch right. you over there plugging one of the holes. A couple of filthy <laughs> vagrants. I look around. I'm looking for females in here. Any sort of <laughs> ladies of the evening, as it were. Uh, just, just a couple of the, couple of the, uh, the <laughs> a couple of the barmaids. <laughs> yeah, he's what do you do good. for fun around here, dear? I say to the closest barmaid. Oh, uh, he says, ah, oh, this is this is a uh, this is one of my daughters and. Uh, of oh, course she is. <laughs> There's nothing around here to do, really. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, things really haven't taken off. If you get to my my drift, my 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 father had big aspirations moving to Kryson 40 years ago, and there was a big uh, fight with the dwarves and and the ogres, and uh, my family just had been passing through, and you know they they held a vote to see if we could build an inn. They did not have one, and they, uh, you know, at first they were reluctant about it, but after my, my father pursuing it, they allowed us to uh, make the Singing Stone Inn. And we've been here now for a little over 40 years. Mm. Mm. And we have heard stories of these, these troll, I mean, not trolls, or ogres, ogres. Uh, ogres fights and stuff, right? Yeah. Our friend right. Ayrton down there at the mines has told us of this. Yeah, you want to be careful of him. I think he could be turned out to be a bandit lord. <laughs> oh, Master, <laughs> Master Crux? <laughs> He's an honorable dwarf. Are the dwarves and humans? We... No, I don't know. <laughs> the dwarves and humans, we, we usually do not mingle with one another, but uh, if any, if push came to shove, I'm, I'm sure one of our societies would, would come together. Indeed, indeed. Well, we'll be sure, uh, yeah, assuming the accommodations are, are, are good, to spread the good word about uh, the singing song in, or maybe we can send a few travelers your way, fill your purse with more gold pieces. Well, that, 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 that would be uh, amazing. We could use more pioneers to come into the valley. You know, we have lots of rich lands and plenty of good food. You know, we have our, our stones that, uh, that we worship that bring good fortune to us. Uh, why wouldn't uh, people want to come to Kirsten? And, and uh, I can, can you uh, lower my voice and, and say, speaking of these stones, I heard uh, uh, some unpleasant rumors about the stones being uh, turned over or something. Absolutely. Uh, I don't know much about it was this. by the vicious bandit lord. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> One I of these days, that. a real fucking band of lords is going to arrive in this game. Oh, you know that, right? Absolutely. <laughs> you fucking better believe it. <laughs> I do like this sausage. I really do like your sausage, Barman. It is. Barman. Can, Sorry. It is a... We, no, we I call, more of your sausage. It is the f most famous dish. This this southern part of the of the River Kingdom, and it's 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 our famous marsh butter sausage. It's basically a... Uh, a very heavily salted goat sausage with a like a smoky mutton mixed in with it and it's got like a uh, a brown gravy served on this like bed of uh, like steamed vegetables and whatnot it's actually pretty good it's very expensive you now is it the four gold price I don't care you know, but, but it's very good I don't care Barky feed me as much of your sausage as you can Oh God. I'm enjoying this. Now we, are f <laughs> we are fixing to close up, uh, close up for the night. So, and my voice keeps changing from the dwarf to the human. So it's one thing it's quite I always right. kind of fuck up right. to him. Anyways, uh, he calls for you know whatever's left, just bring it out for the travelers. And he asks you, you know, how long have you been on the road? Where are you going? How long are you staying? We don't know, so. <laughs> We're we just be here passing. A few days, I think. 
we'll, we'll probably stay. We'll, we'll probably have to talk about uh, weekly rates uh, before long with you there, Mr. Avran. But uh, for now, we, we do not know. Yeah. Well, well, if you need to stay, it's, uh, it is four gold a night. Uh, and it's probably not what you want to hear, <laughs> but you get the home, the home feel. I and I, <laughs> That's okay. I... I'm, I'm sure we can come to some kind of arrangement, can't right, we? We have, we yeah, have, uh, be gorgeous. We have, we do have a couple of rooms up top, and they're usually always, always vacant. So you're more than welcome to stay, and okay. uh, your drink will be taken care of, and uh, all of your your food will be taken care of. And uh, my wife, she'll she cooks the best, so she'll be taken care of. Food, you know, bad. Well, I'll, 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 you I'll said take as much usually, sausage as you've got. When's the last time you had a another other visitors? Ah, ah, uh, uh, um, several. Hmm, about uh, about two weeks ago, we had uh, uh, some middle-aged uh, gent, a uh, very nice guy. God, I think his name was, I think his name was Tanrick. That's uh, that's T A N R I K. I think his name was uh, Tanrick. Nice gentleman. A little mysterious. He kept to himself, you know. He, you know, he uh, did seem quite keen to learn about, uh, you know, why the folks settled here in Christen. Wanted to know the history, and um, so uh, you know, I, I seemed like he's a nice guy. So you know, I, you know, I, I told him, uh, you know, no one was here before the stones, and uh, you know, I just jokingly with this joshing this fellow and it seemed that uh, he actually got quite upset about that you know he just he didn't have a sense At of which humor part? uh when he when he was asking uh, you know about our history so i told him you know basically uh you know we were settled 100 150 years ago well, pioneers came into the valley they they loved the pasture they loved the the butterflies they were purists you know, they doored the way the wind played around the standing stones. You know, up, up top. You know, that's why we have the inn. You know, we are we are purists here. I know here well people in the like town. that. And then basically, the, I these too pioneers. Come from a town like that. I, it's it's the only way to live, my friend. This is they they basically set up the site and this basically became a sacred place uh, for you know our founding pioneers and built the homesteads around the base of the hill. You know, had a very good supply of natural springs in the area. You know, good for you know making the the beverages and the dwarves. They make a a very fine ale as well. And there's lots of game in the forest, lots of food. So you know, I I understand why they fell in love with this place. But you know, as I, you know, he was wanting to know information before that, and I jokingly told him, you know, look, guy, you know, we we were here a hundred years ago. The stones were here when we were here. So you know, he just didn't. Guy just like I said, didn't have a sense of humor. So you know, mm. he stayed for a couple. What of What manner nights, of man was? What I, manner of man was was Tanrek? Was uh, he's he an elf. A, uh, I believe he's a he was a human. Yeah, I think he's a human. So, but yeah, he said he stays for a couple of nights, and you know, was out most of the time, out and about around the town. And uh, this is uh, about about two weeks ago. Yeah. Hmm. That's when he left was two weeks ago. Or that's when yeah. he arrived. No, it's he arrived uh, and stayed for a couple days, and, uh, and then it's been about two weeks. So two weeks, two days or so. Mm, I see. All right, I, I finished my beer. And, a little, and little weird and though, you know. Up, I approach uh, the comeliest of his daughters that I see, and uh, uh, Madam, uh, do you think you could show me to these baths of yours? Uh, I am ready to take my bath. Now. Ah, yes, uh, Griselda. Uh, show, uh, show our patron here. What is, what is your name, sir? Uh, the Pride Fernwood, sir. Uh, a, a cleric of sorts. Uh, yes, I have come to bring the good word of, of the Calistria to your your small village. I don't know how amenable you will be to to her worship, but uh, she takes all comers. Ah, uh, I uh, appreciate the offer, my friend. But uh, we we have already devoted ourselves. I, I will talk to... to you at length about the lady uh, later <laughs> on. But I, I I should wash now. I have uh, 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 sure you will, my Please friend. Please lead me to the baths. Uh, the Grisilda. He introduces his daughter as Grisilda. 
and charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> I'll stand to go to the bath as well, munching on the sausage and clutching my ale as I go. Hey, you know, he says uh, and basically their behind. their belief system. You know, they they call it the tranquility of still. You know, he says that it's mm. basically the belief system of, you know, the human part of the community here in Chris, you know, of Chris and, and you know, it's based on the concept that, you know, he says perfection is eternal and therefore any change is bad you know and that's why we don't like change but there has been some change the last several weeks and it's just been a, a little odd you know it's change how change is good you need uh, change no, no my friend change is not good <laughs> Uh, it, it, I'm not too sure if it's uh, something uh, that that has upset the dwarfs or or what, but uh, some of some of our our worshiping stones have have been uh, defaced and uh, basically desecrated. And uh, it's it's Why do you truly think it's unfortunate. The oh, they're the only others besides us here. So I mean, if you now you said you get very few visitors. Very few. The last, the last that we had was that, uh, that a scholar named Tanrick, and that was several weeks back. And when did these, uh, when did these events start up again? <clears throat> no, I'm, I'm not too stupid. Yeah, so uh, they started up about two weeks ago. So I'm, not, you know, I'm. It's what the uh, thought had occurred to me as well. Ertrek said too. You know, you know, but I'll tell you what. You guys look adventurous. You guys seem like you're the ambitious type. You know, I'm I'm sure if you Indeed. Can, if you guys are are going to be staying any kind, maybe maybe you can uh, find out and uh, you know let let me know and, and maybe we'll try to help you out. You know, we're not we're not Very a fighting good. people, especially when the you know we are one with nature. We we don't want to fight. We do not want to harm things. You know, that's why we, our, our relatives, my father, uh, you know, they, you know, seeing that my father was here 40 years ago, you know, he really wasn't involved in it, but that's why the humans asked the, the dwarves to stay, because they were the fighters. And they, you know. Even, even nature rises up against entropy when it comes about. Aye. Indeed, this is why change is good. Entropy is bad. Well, the rooms aren't luxurious, but they're comfy. You'll sleep well, I'm sure. And uh, you guys are free to stay around town if you'd like. But if All you right. find anything else, if you find anything else, let us know. I'm not totally 100% sold that it was the dwarves. Uh, some of our other fellow worshippers can swear their lives on it. But I don't. I don't think that's the case. I think it, you know, all of this started happening when this scholar came to town, stayed for a couple of days, and then he just disappeared. And he was actually paid for another seems, couple of nights, but he just disappeared. <laughs> and, seems and, a seems a bit messy for dwarves. They tend to and, be a bit more uh, ordered. Yeah, and but let me mind assure anything. you that the dwarves have uh, have asked us to look into the matter as well. They, well, they fear a, a friction between the humans and the dwarves in this town. So, I, I I don't think it would be them at all if they're if they're asking us to to take a look as well. well that, that's a is there is there a religious it. leader that we could speak to about this, or how is your faith uh, organized? Uh, we we do have a uh, religious leader, and uh, you can meet him. As we play in two weeks, so we'll go ahead and call tonight <laughs> now, and right. you can meet the religious leader next time we play. So next.